welcome back to my channel today's is story time sunday and as you guys are watching this florida is going is preparing or bracing for the i was gonna say wrath but like i don't know but for hurricane irma which is very was it was very strong at some point right now it's not as strong as it was at one point i'm trying to fix this camera to make it look better but i was very worried nonetheless i was freaking out i was crying i was very stressed i was very stressed i can't even like put into words how stressed i was i was very scared i was gonna die and it's just sad to think that you know like it's the worst is in south florida where my family lives so it's i'm not scared for them because i'm sure that they'll be okay but it's just sad to think that something might happen to the house that they work so hard to have and like maintain and all that so it's just a little scary and then we have had hurricanes like strong hurricanes before and then i think of that and i compare them and it's just it's not good and i spent all day like looking at like updates of the hurricane and it's just like not good so and i also feel like the road is like it's the end of the world that's what i'm thinking because there's like hurricane harvey and then there's irma and then there's like two other hurricanes like jose and sakatia and then there's like a fires in like la and i don't just just i just i don't know but I'm still here to do a story time for you guys. I wasn't gonna post a story time today, but then I just like consciously I had to. I was gonna feel very bad, and if I die this weekend, if I die today, not today, but like during the hurricane, which is like today, the day you guys are watching this, then I'm gonna feel very bad for not posting a video for you guys, my last video. So it's gonna be story time Sunday, and it's about rude customers, because I worked at this place and there were some rude ass customers. Every day I had at least one rude customer, and I'm actually telling the story because. I've been obsessed with watching these stories lately. Like I've been like binge watching like stories of people just telling rude customer service and I'm like, yes girl, I feel you because people are rude. So yeah, I have a couple of them written down on my phone. And let me start by telling you guys, I worked at this one pizza place. It's like a pizza chain. Like it's one of those, like you, you all know what this place is. Like I'm just not gonna say the name because I have people from my old job that may watch my videos. I know they definitely follow me on Instagram. And they know I, I post YouTube videos, but like I don't know if they watch my videos. I know for sure one of them watched my videos, but he doesn't work there anymore. And I gotta say, I actually, I loved working here. Like, it was so much fun. Like, besides the customers, like, the people were great. I got free food. It was delicious. I got along great with my coworkers. They were funny. Like, I just, I liked working here. Like, I did not mind going to work. It was, like, okay for me. Like, I, it was no issue. But, like, the customers were such a shit. Like, I don't understand when people get so angry over food like i understand food is important but bruh why are you so mad for like they get mad over like a pizza topping like it's it's crazy like people get so upset and i don't understand why people would be so mean to someone that makes your food like and also people are such liars oh my god like sometimes because yes i like going to work but i feel like it's not that i was the only one that did everything because people did obviously do like people did their jobs for the most part but there's times where they would make the dough and then they would leave it there and then i would do like the rest like i would take the call and if everybody else was at the back of the store like just playing around and talking shit and i was the only one answering phones then i would put the toppings on the pizza and then put it in the oven and when it came out the oven i would cut it and then the driver would deliver it or whatever and people would call in and say like oh my pizza was delivered wrong and i was like bitch i know i know your pizza was not made wrong i know for a hundred percent fact that your pizza was not made wrong like i know because i took your order i freaking made your order i freaking cut your order i like i basically like did everything like i know your pizza was not made wrong but of course the customer is always right so i would typically just be like oh my god i'm so sorry about that you know like we can send out another pizza for you we can give you a credit for a free pizza the next time you order that's unacceptable blah 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 but like in the back of my head i was like rolling my eyes like nah and i also i loved like i loved when people would say oh can i speak to your manager i'd be like okay just hold for one second i put them on hold and then i would go to my manager and talk shit about them like i'd be like this annoying ass lady is on the phone and she's saying this and like well, she, she wants to speak to you and they'd be like oh seriously like why can't you talk to them and i'm like because i did and they want to speak to you and then just be like like we'd like both like roll their eyes and then like they would answer and they would tell them the same shit that i told them and then they would just be like oh okay like bitch <laughs> i'm not like not gonna give you what like i'm not gonna not do my job because you're being rude like i'm gonna do my job you know and i also like i loved and people would be like, I'm gonna go somewhere else or I'm gonna take my business elsewhere. Like, okay, <laughs> have a great day. Like, I'd be so nice to them. Like, I would literally kill them with kindness and they would get even more upset. Like, I would be like, 
<laughs> I would be like, like when they were yelling at me, I'd be like, I'd be like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, or I'd be super, I don't even know, like I'd just be so nice to them that they would get so mad at me, and then they were just like, just be, they would like complain to corporate, but like when they complain to corporate, it goes to my manager. Like I, my manager would look at them, look at the complaints, laugh, and then like not even speak to us. Like he wouldn't like give us a talking to. Obviously it depends on like what the complaint says, but we get so much annoying customers. We got so much annoying customers that like half of them we can't even take it seriously. Like. They're stupid, but I'm actually gonna tell story times. Okay, I have one story time that I want to tell because I was thinking about this like all day. So I would, like I said, I would answer the phones and I would be on register. And sometimes I would be cutting pizzas. I typically didn't make pizzas. I know how to, but it wasn't like something I did often. Like there's people that did that, but if I had to, like I would do it. Like I kind of did a little bit of everything except for deliver. I never delivered a pizza. But I was on the phone one day and I answered. I'm like, thank you for calling. Blah blah blah. How can I help you? And then they were like. <laughs> they were like one of your one of your drivers just cut me off in traffic and I was like oh my god I'm so sorry about that okay like that's all I said and then they were like that's it that's all you have to say and I'm like oh no that's unacceptable we, we don't take like can you tell me what their car looked like because I was like seriously gonna be like when they got to when I got like I say what their car looked like I was like can you tell me what car it was so that I would know when they got to work, I'd tell them like, oh, if someone calls about you or whatever. I wasn't going to yell at them because I like I don't have the power to yell at them. But I would just tell them like, oh, you cut someone off and they like yelled at me about it. <laughs> and then they were like, it, it was a silver car. And I was like, oh, <laughs> that narrows it down because literally every single driver that we had had a silver car like there's like I'm, it's, not, it's so funny because like all of the drivers like yes there was different cars like one of them was like a volkswagen one of them was a honda one of them was like a toyota one of them was like different kind of cars you know but they all had silver cars like literally it's not like like it, it it was almost like if our company policy was you have to have a silver car to work here because like literally every single car had was silver so i was like oh okay you know like can you be a little bit more specific you know all of our drivers have silver cars you know like and she was like ah, you're gonna speak to your manager like is that all you have to say and i was just like like i was like i can't do anything if you don't tell me what their car looked like like what am i supposed to do like i can't just yell at a random driver for like cutting you off and then you're like so they were like bitchy they were calling me like every name under the sun i don't even know if that's a term that's a saying in english but i know in spanish you say like like everything under the sun or something like that like it means like they call you me every name in the book so they were like calling and i was like but i can't like i can't like i wish i remembered more specific details about working here because i haven't worked here in a while and i did work there for a year and a half or like around there but it has been a while and i just kind of like blocked those things out and i was just like when on my day like it never affected me when people were mean to me it only affected me when like a coworker was mean to me or like but like when, when a customer was mean to me it was never affecting me Another thing people would do that was so annoying was like we are um, the pizza place we have has an online you can order online and a lot of times people that had like accounts or whatever you can have, they would send you like promo codes that you would use online to get like discounts so they would get a promo code and then they would call the store and they'd be like oh I have this promo code and in store we cannot take those promo codes those are online only promo codes like you gotta read the, the small print because it's and it's not it wasn't even small print like it would say online order only like like it's it's not even like the small print so anyway so they would call and they'd be like oh I have I saw a promo for like I don't know something like a five dollar pizza or something I don't know and then they'd be like oh I'm sorry that's an online order only and they were like what if I don't have internet and I'm like then how did you see the promo code huh if you don't got any internet how you see the promo code <laughs> that's what i'm thinking but i'm like oh you know i'm sorry i can't there's no way for me to like validate that promo in, in store like literally the way, only way that we had like promotions or anytime if we had a promotion it would be like a button we pressed in like it's not like we input it manually it was something that like was already set into the computer and we just press on the button so there's no way for me to do it so then they'd like yell at me they'd bitch at me they'd be like then why'd you guys send out these promos and they'd like yell at me and it'd be super annoying and like i'd just be sitting there like so then sometimes i'd be like okay do you want to speak to the manager or i'd be like okay just one second so i'd put them on hold and sometimes the manager would tell me like okay calculate the difference so if it's like let's say the promo is like um like five dollar pizza and the, the normal pizza was like twelve dollars or something then i'd be like okay subtract seven dollars from the order and i'd like do that and i'd do that like manually for them i could do that because i had like manager access kind of but i wasn't a manager but like i could like they gave me access as a manager kind of so i tell them i'd be like okay you know what i can do for you just like this one time only um i can get give you seven dollars off your order because you know they like were bitching at me and then they'd be like no but i don't get my points and they would like be so upset that they didn't get their points and i'm like 
then order it online, bitch. I can't give you your points. Like, there's no way I can give you points in store. Like, that does not exist. It's only online. Like, the points are only online. And then they would just get so mad and start yelling at me. And I'd be like, well, then I can't do anything for you. And then they'd be like, I'm gonna go somewhere else. Okay, bye. Have a great day. I don't give a fuck. Bye. I'm yelling. I'm talking so loud. Oh, my God. Another thing, I would hate. This one is like rude customers but i would hate when someone would call in to place an order and i'd be like okay what's your phone number they would give me their phone number what's your name they would give me their name and then i'd be like okay what's your address where do you want to deliver it oh i don't know what do you mean like how do you expect me to send the driver out to drive to your house and you don't know your address like how are they gonna get there like please tell me how they're gonna get there because i don't know like do they just like like, do they just guess? Like, they just stop at a random house and just like, okay, I think it's here. No, you, you, we need to know your address. And I just found that so annoying. I'd be like, okay, do you know, like, the two major intersections? Oh, I don't know. Bitch, <laughs> what do you mean you don't know? Like, can you, you guys need to get this shit together before you you call in to order a pizza. You need to know, like, the address. You need to know what you're ordering. Because, like, girl, I hated when I would just sit there and I'd be like, thank you for calling, blah, blah, blah. How can I help you? They'd be like, oh, I'm here. I'm placing an order for delivery. No, even worse was when I like they wouldn't even let me finish my little introduction because like I had to I had to, I had to answer the phone this way like there's a specific way I had to answer I'm not gonna say like the whole thing because like then you would know where I worked but I'd be like thank you for calling blah 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 at and I'd say like the location how can I help you and then they'd be like before I even finish saying my sentence they'd be like extra large veggie blah blah, blah with without olives and blah blah and I'd be like oh I'm sorry like. Can I get your, you know, address and stuff first? And then they give me their address. And then there are some people that were even more annoying than that. And they would, like, not know what they wanted to order. So I would say my whole spiel. They would give me their address. And then they'd be like, oh, wait, I don't know what, what I want to order. They'd, like, put the phone away. And they'd be like, Sharon, what do you want? Oh, wings? Okay, what kind of wings? And then they'd, like, be super annoying. Or another thing that would happen. And let's say they were ordering wings. I'd be like, okay, what kind of wings do you want? Like, there's barbecue and there's buffalo. And they'd be like, just regular wings okay what kind of wings do you want like what's regular to you like what do you consider regular because to me regular could be buffalo wings but to you regular could be barbecue wings or plain wings or whatever like i need to know because we might just give you plain wings and then you'd be like i want a buffalo well you need to tell me this stuff and then whenever i asked them to clarify they'd just be like oh just regular wings what do you mean regular wings <laughs> anyway that is it it wasn't it wasn't like necessarily rude customers but it was like a ranty video if you guys want to hear more straight hymns of the time that i worked at a pizza place and rude customers because i literally had a rude customer at least once a day like and i only i worked very little hours i only worked like four hours a day for like three days a week like i only worked like 12 hours a week when i was this was when i was in high school so I got like at least one weird customer every day so just let me know i can definitely like rack my brain for them and like remember situations but yeah let me know in the comments below so make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye Say little bitch, you can fuck with me if you wanted to These expensive, these is red bottoms, these is bloody shoes Then I'm quick, cut a nigga off, so don't get comfortable Look, 